Coach, if you would open with a brief statement for us, please. Um, I really haven't had a chance to look at the stats. Um, Duke is obviously very good. Um, I, I thought that uh, I was pretty confident that we would come out and compete. And our message to our team that there was going to come a time in the game, either late in the first half or at some point in the second half, where we were going to have to deal with some real adversity, you know, in this building. And uh, adversity came and we didn't handle it quite as well as I would have hoped. Um, and I, I thought that was really the story of the game. Uh, I thought we carried out uh, our game plan as, as well as we could have. And, they got some really good players and made some good plays. Jones making the shots that he made in the first half really hurt us a little bit because we, were, we weren't anticipating that. He hadn't shot it as well, so uh, him making some shots certainly affected us. But we, we weathered that and then uh, didn't rebound it well enough in the second half. We gave too many second-chance opportunities. Uh, we kept playing. We finished the game the right way. I believe our team is going to be good at some point. I don't know what we're going to have to go through between now and then. Uh, tonight was a good opportunity for us to learn what we're made of, and uh, it gives us something to learn from and to build upon. And, uh, so we look forward to uh, what comes up. Questions for Coach? Well, what changed uh, defensively for Duke when they kind of got the separation in the uh, – Second half, it was, it was 40 to 40, and then I think it was 11 over, and they went. Did, did they change anything defensively with what they were doing? I, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, they, they, they did what they do. They, they, they were a little bit better. At the, you know, we, we tried to play downhill the whole game. Uh, they're so aggressive. They deny so much. They pressure so much. So we were prepared for that. And so our game plan was to drive the ball and attack, and not not try to slow the game down. We didn't think that would be an effective way to beat these guys. And they don't let you move the ball as much because they really are so aggressive in passing lanes. And we got into a little bit of a mode where we were either no pass in a shot or one pass in a shot. And if we didn't make it, they were going the other way with it. Um, so, and then we turned it over some. But I, I, I think we lost character a little bit from what kept us in the game in the first half. I think we got away from those things a little bit. And defensively, I, I think you know they, they played hard, and uh, I don't know if they made any adjustment per se, but uh, they were more effective. Coach, what was your mindset going into halftime? What did you tell your team at the half? I was a little disappointed the way we finished the half because I wanted to go in with the lead, and uh, we gave up a drive in our zone. It's hard to drive the ball in the zone and shoot a layup. And we played pretty good on that possession. At the end of the possession, Jones drove through the zone and shot a layup. So that was disappointing. Um, and so my message to them was uh, I, I want to still be looking them straight in the eye after the first media timeout because I've been on both sides of this. And when you're in their locker room, you're saying, all right, the first four minutes. right? And so we were saying the first four minutes of the second half, we want to still be there, and we want them to know that they got a game on their hands. And I thought we did that for the most part. Um, but I knew they had a run coming, and the question is, how big of a run was it going to be, and how would we respond? And we didn't respond really, really well. But we kept fighting. Vernon carried 20 points. Um, but you felt like you guys made them earn it, you know, spin away from his dominant hand, some timely postables. What did you guys, what did you think about your effort against Kerry tonight? Yeah, I thought we fought. I thought Big Joe did a decent job on him, mm -hmm. um, especially when he, when he, whenever he, you know, we wanted to make him catch it away from the basket as much as possible, not allowing those deep catches because he's so strong mm -hmm. and he's got such great touch around the basket. And even though he wants to turn over that right shoulder most of the time, it doesn't matter, you know, yeah. if, he, if he catches that deep, you know. Yeah. So uh, we just wanted him to take six-footers and eight-footers instead of rim shots. And when he got it away from the basket, I thought Joe did a pretty good job of not letting him get to the basket. Um, great hands, quick jumper for a guy his size, just a phenomenal talent. Coach, what was your message to the team after the game?